Hello, this is Aaron Lewis with guildportal.com. Um, right now we're going to cover how to set up a new voice server uh, using Ventrilo for your guild website. Um, this assumes you've already set up your guild website. Right now we've got our video demo site. Um, if you're a newer guild, by default you'll have a voice server uh, widget on your home page. If you're not, it won't be there and uh, we're just going to go ahead and assume you don't have it there. If you do, you can just set it up by clicking on edit. Um, but if you don't, we'll go through the control panel and it'll be the same way, but you'll see. Anyway, we'll go to the control panel. Then over on the left is Ventrilo server. And here's where you set up the uh, properties for your new server. You can call it whatever you like, up to 29 characters. Uh, we're going to call ours our voice chat because there's not a bone of originality in my body. We'll pick our type. Ventrilo is all we offer right now. It's the most common. People recognize it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, then a data center. Try to pick one closest to your guild members. The majority of them are, you know, you. Uh, we're in Colorado. I'll pick Denver. And let's say we've got a 20. No. Let's say. Yeah, we're tiny. We'll go with a five-member guild. And then you pick your billing period, how often you want to be charged. I know um, not at all would be perfect, but I don't think anybody offers that one. We do offer really, really good rates, though. Let's say every three months, let's save 10%. Let's, oh, wait. No, let's go with 12. And you'll see what your total every 12 months would be. And you see it over here as well. Um, server admin password. You've got to enter this, not optional. This is the password that you'll enter once you're already logged onto your server uh, to do things like add channels, manage ban lists, things like that. And we're going to be really super secure. Admin voice. Yeah. Yeah. Um, and then server login password. When people are setting up their Ventrilo client, uh, they need to enter. If you enter something here, they'll need to enter whatever you enter here as the password to even get onto the server at all. Um, uh, you can leave that empty. It's easier for people to log in, but then, uh, yeah, anybody can get in too. Uh, finally, uh, important note, all subscriptions are auto-renewing until canceled through PayPal. So you will be billed now and then again in 12 months until you cancel it. Click Next. Here's a summary of everything you entered on the previous form. And just click PayPal Subscribe. And it'll take you to PayPal's secure site. And uh, here's where you confirm your order. Uh, Guild Portal 5 slot Ventrilo server for video demo site. 1824 for each 12 months and then you uh, sign in with your PayPal account or create a new one and what we're gonna do now is uh, once your transaction is through it should be pretty much instantaneous that your voice server is added it could take up to half an hour um, but it's it's automated so it should be pretty fast what I'm gonna do now is kind of pretend that our voice server has been added I'm going to kind of fudge it on the database side. I just click the button. Um, and once your order is completed, you'll be able to go back into the control panel. Click on Ventrilo server again. And now you'll see this is you know, what we entered there, what we entered for the admin password. And here's where you can get your IP address, the port, uh, the number of slides, you know, the this is the login info that people are going to need and uh, whatever general password if you entered. You can also stop and restart your server from here um, and rename it if you want. <clears throat> and since we already had a voice server widget here, uh, if you just refresh your guild page, you'll see you've got uh, a widget showing your channels, and I set that up earlier. You can see what the channels are and who's online. And it gives the IP address and the port so people know uh, they can set up their Ventrilo client to log into your server using those values. 
there's a link to download the software um, and if you hadn't had this widget up there beforehand then when you went in your control panel there would have been a little link at the bottom saying that Guild Portal hadn't detect Guild Portal detected you didn't have a voice server widget. Would you like to add one? And there's a link, and it'll automatically add one for you. So I think that about covers the setup uh, for a new vent server. Thanks for watching.